Hey everyone, welcome back for more Cookie Run Kingdom content. In this video, we're going to discuss the combo between Latte Cookie and Espresso Cookie. But before that, if you wanted updated Cookie Run Kingdom content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hey guys, so welcome back. Um, today, we're going to discuss more on um, the individual cookies, um, Latte and Espresso Cookie. So we're going to discuss their skills a little bit of the toppings that they should be using and i'll also have a gameplay demo on how they're going to be used in um missions and or sorry in, in kingdom missions and also in pvp so we'll start off with latte cookie so for latte cookie so um we still have i think around 10 days or nine days left for for her banner i'm i'm, I'm trying I'm, I'm going to correct myself now so latte cookie is a she so basically um i equipped her actually with um uh what are these toppings so these are chocolate m um and uh chocolate swift chocolate s so more on um decreased cooldown because of the skills that she has so let me just read through her skills so care for a latte so cooldown again is 15 seconds conjures a latte glyph so attracting enemies to its center dealing damage and silencing them the glyph remains on the ground dealing damage over time and greater damage to the enemies in its center so basically this is actually like a a swirling glyph that sucks in your enemies to the center what is good about this it it's not like a spell that has a duration so it stays there until um that portion of the battle has ended okay um as far as the damage is concerned um latte cookies damage is actually lesser compared to espresso's um damage so if you can see here it actually has a difference in damage and also it it actually um, gives your enemy silence so it prevents them from casting their own spells or their own skills so before they even you know cast their own spells or skills you have to cast this before they do so that is the beauty of latte cookie that is why in terms of the uh, of her combo with the uh, espresso cookie she has to cast her own spells first okay because the sequence there is she will she will cast a spell silencing your enemies then suck them inside then after after your enemies has been sucked in will move on to espresso cookie so espresso cookie is actually his his uh, what they call this his skills is more or less the same it drags your enemies towards the center but it's a spell with a limited time duration so again once latte cookie um activates her spell um espresso cookie activates his uh secondly because once your enemies are in the center after Ex espresso cookie activates his own spell it sucks them in more okay and again um very big damage especially for the for the last hit for the damage and also um his spell also has a i think has an interrupt um ability so what does this mean is it interrupts a current spell being cast by your enemy so after latte cookie um silences your enemies once they cast their spell after the duration of the silence then you cast this then you interrupt their spell so that's basically how you control your enemies um in 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 the battlefield so everybody is being you know they're being controlled to it to, to a certain um to a certain area or to a certain length or, or to a certain distance then they are being controlled there while your other team members are able to attack them so preferably you have range at the back probably some healing then your 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 front actually attacks them uh head on which actually has a safe distance from you and the enemies i'm i'm, I'm talking about espresso 
and latte. For um, espresso, um, his toppings is more or less geared towards attack because espresso has bigger damage than than latte. That's the only thing, or the, that's the only reason why um, he should be equipped with a searing raspberry, preferably M or medium. Okay. Um, if you don't have, I, I I don't have enough medium, so I have here extra small. So more or less, um, they would differ in terms of toppings. Uh, espresso be more on the attack side, dealing more damage while sucking them in. And for latte, she will be um, equipped with uh, um, decrease in cooldown for the chocolate, swift chocolate, so that she can cast her spell as you know as frequent frequent as possible anyway your 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 objective for these two is latte has really to go first and her cooldown has to be faster than espressos okay so let's move on to a little bit of play testing okay let's start with just the two of them um i'm actually here at um 6-2 so we'll take this on so it's only the two of them um in the middle so let's see how their mechanic plays out if the, it's only the the two of them in their lineup okay so basically espresso goes first sucks them in and actually um um sorry latte went first then espresso goes second so if you can see most of the enemies are actually controlled in the middle um as they attack uh both of them they can control actually the um, the middle of the pack or they, they could do crowd control um that they don't get overwhelmed too much in terms of the attacker right in front of them so that is actually their play style if you have somebody who is tanky in the front that won't reach them the better because what they would do um in your team is to more or less um control control the crowd control minions control bosses and also silence them and also yeah and keep them from casting spells okay so let's move on to a little bit of pvp action so for PvP, let's let's uh, have uh, a little bit more of a high attack power. So let's choose this one. So if you can, see, usually for PvP, you don't get to do this manually. So you get to do this auto. So let's try to. I have here um, dark chocolate in the front. Um, I need more. Um, I need to have decreased defense um, again and probably AOE from him. And I have licorice at the back to add more minions to the front to to just to shield them off shield off latte and espresso and i i have her there herb to heal the whole party so let's start this one so you can see right off the gate most of them will be casting their spells okay so basically what what my team does is in the middle part most of your enemies will be crippled already and they cannot you know they cannot um they cannot um, go back um, or they cannot recover from the initial assault so let's try another one okay so again if you can see um usually most of your attacks are simultaneous with your enemies so basically the second wave of attacks of spells are usually um usually your enemies are already disabled by that by, by the time so if you can see most of them most of them are already disabled and they are actually being attacked already by your frontliners and you continue to attack them as well so basically both you and your enemy actually for pvp um cast at the same time during the second round of casting most of their spells are already delayed because of espresso and because of latte cookie as well so one more one more just to you know for you guys to see how how big they are in 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 pvp let's try to refresh this and let's get a higher so let's have this so again um both of them will play a big part moving forward for pvp so basically you have to prepare 
yourself already in terms of future PvP battles or PvP meta. Um, for my more or less for my team, um, the only the only person that I I would switch out there for just in case you want to be more tanky would be milk cookie for licorice that's actually also dependent on who you have as your cookies so let's do this so this one is uh, has a higher power than mine so let's see how we fare against this um, this team so again if you can see casting usually is done there so both are hit then the other team is silenced and they they have pretty much a delay in terms of what they can cast so basically we're we're, we're just waiting for another cooldown so we're recovering while we're doing our cooldown we're, they're down to seven percent three percent then they're gone so that's it so basically it enables it disables your enemy's ability to attack spells it delays them for the second round of spells so there you go guys so basically that is how you play both of them combos level them up level them well choose your toppings well those are um i, I mentioned two toppings earlier those are my recommended for them but if you have any other toppings that you would want to use for the both of them latte and espresso be my guest try to experiment and anyway guys if you have comments suggestions on the combo for the both of them please write them down below also please take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out